Hello and welcome back, beautiful Libras. Thank you for joining me here. I hope you're all doing amazing. Thank you so much for your kindness, your generosity in being part of this soul tribe here. Thank you, Libra. Oh, Archangel Michael is here. Providing protection and strength to you. Telling you to take leadership. Take control of your life. A surprise is on the horizon. Expect a nice surprise. Believe in yourself and follow your dreams. So spirits, uh, Archangel Michael's got something planned for you here. Let's get into it. What is this surprise? What is this surprise? Well, it wouldn't be a surprise if I told you now, wouldn't it? Wanting you to believe in yourself. So, somebody... Archangel Michael bringing you strength. Protection and strength. There's Archangel Michael. So, somebody could be struggling here with um, an addiction, drinking for that matter. Somebody could be overwhelmed, it could be self-medicating, depressed, sitting home alone or depressed. Somebody could be drinking heavily or feeling heavily burdened about something, feeling sad, feeling guilty perhaps, ashamed, embarrassed. I don't know, maybe they turned their back on you. I, I don't know. Somebody could have been betrayed by a family or feeling betrayed by a family. There's some kind of sadness, depression, um, somebody could be, <laughs> well, hi, you coming to say hello to Libra, are you? Well, you can, you're allowed, and I'll let you, you can. You always know, Tucker, you always know when someone's sad or depressed. So somebody's family could have been betrayed them. This emperor's family could have betrayed them. Something to do with, or a friend's betrayal, or a brother's betrayal. They're feeling hurt. Could be some kind of karma for how they treated you. I'm not sure. They could have been mocking you. Nice surprise is on the way. So this person could have rejected you. I don't know. I think that there's a nice surprise on the way. For Libra. Could be a new person. Be a past love trying to reconcile with you or surprise you.
taken a leadership position and it's like someone wants to make amends with you. I don't know, someone wants to offer you something or give you something. It could be an offer or an apology. Maybe this person's family turned on you. Hmm. Or someone in your own family may have turned on you. There's a lot of anger here and accusations. You're moving in silence here. You're receiving some sort of blessing that's going to make you very happy here. Someone's doing a lot of thinking about something you said to them. They're doing a lot of thinking about something you told them or something you said to them. It's like... It's almost like someone feels be betrayed by an entire family. Feels betrayed. And I think it's because they didn't trust you or they disbelieved you or someone is making trouble here. This is a family betrayal. Someone in your family may have betrayed you or this person's family betrayed them. And it's like... They've been thinking about something that you said to them, thinking about something that you told them or said to them. It's like someone wants to make amends with you, should be making amends with you, for creating some kind of trouble in your life or It's like an entire family betrayal. She's so not sure why they want to make amends. They don't know how to be themselves. It's like you've been doing a lot of energy work on yourself and it's helping. So they can't operate on your frequency. Someone's been trying to talk over you, trying to lower your self-esteem, uh, getting other people to hate on you. Keep reminding them how fantastic you are because their evil intentions will fail. Yeah, someone's been dirt digging, collecting dirt on you, and they're exposing themselves. An ex-hater will try to reconcile with you. It's almost like you got a troublemaker. Either there's a troublemaker in your family or there is a troublemaker in this person's family. It's like a whole family betrayal. It's like some instigator may have caused a bunch of people to turn on you and work against you. They're being exposed. This 
going on? Someone is a tyrant, cruel and oppressive on a mission. Like I said, someone's under the influence here. Someone's either under the influence of alcohol or other substances. Toxic love. Hmm. So someone is keeping someone very unhealthy. They're keeping someone very unhealthy here. They have unhealthy habits or they have unhealthy addictions. And it's like... They got a lot to say when they're drinking and they got a lot to say when they're under the influence. This is someone with a big mouth who's been uh, causing trouble in a family. Causing trouble in a family. And especially when they're under the influence. They got a big mouth and they yap their mouth off and they instigate trouble. And they may have uh, got other family members turned against you or this is someone in their family. They're a troublemaker. Someone's uh, instigator uh, instigates trouble. Likes to, especially when they're under the influence. So they have a drinking problem. Hardcore. And when they get yapping, they've caused a, like a whole family to turn on someone. Their whole family has turned someone into like the black sheep of the family, you know, so nobody else would like them or nobody else will bother with them. It's they're a liar. They've been lying. And you're not guilty. Someone tried to blame you or accuse you of something that they're guilty of. They're the troublemaker. They're the ones that are making the trouble. And they have been making up lies. So like an entire family would turn on you or, uh, yeah. It is what it is. So like an entire family would turn on you. Jealous. Maybe you are fighting back now. Maybe you didn't want to see no trouble. Or maybe you didn't, maybe it made you really sad. Maybe it made you very depressed. Because, I mean, this could be your loved ones we're talking about here. And it's, they wanted to see you rejected and abandoned. See? They wanted you isolated. They wanted no one else to want you, like you. They wanted to see you abandoned. They wanted to see you rejected because they're hiding their own issues. You were blamed. You were made the scapegoat. You were made the blame for what they did. This person could have had like a drinking problem. Well, it's Libra's fault. Or this person could have had an issue with substances. Well, it's Libra's fault. It's not Libra's fault. They've made you the scapegoat for what they've done, for their own lies. 
They're hiding from their own lies. They've made you the blame for something that y you didn't do. And that's because they didn't want to see you thrive. And that's because they didn't want to see you shine. I think you're actually a threat to someone. Now, it could be your own family or someone in their family. This is like an entire family betrayal. Trying to turn other people against you. By making false accusations about you. It's like they didn't want anyone to see how your worth, your value, and even blaming and accusing. You're a threat to someone. Then people never got both sides of the story. They just jumped to conclusions thinking that you're guilty of something that you're not guilty of. It's like an entire family betrayal. It's like it started with one person and their jealousy of you. Either the Samper's family or someone in your family. It's an entire family betrayal. Trying to belittle you, make you feel small, not wanting you to see your value, not wanting you to see your worth. Yeah, trying to destroy you by talking about you. So Archangel Michael is here telling you they, they have a surprise for you. You might get a surprise apology from someone. Like they want to give you something. They want to give you something. They might extend the olive branch out. But the damage has been done. There's no question about it. Like, I don't. Whoever has done this, has done this out of their own insecurities, their own jealousies of you. And it's like they intended to turn everyone against you. Because you were a threat to someone. They were threatened by you. They never wanted you to see your worth or your value. You're a threat. Jealousy and envy is so nasty. It's so, it's so nasty. This is like a whole family been damaged over this. An entire family has been damaged over this. Jealousy and envy. It could be sibling rivalry, it could be anything like that, or this person's family has turned on them. I, I don't know, it's like... All I know is that you're, you've been blamed, and you're not guilty of... Uh, 
it's someone who is threatened by you, making up stories about you, making up allegations about you, yapping behind your back, not having the facts, not hearing your side of the story, just assuming and presuming. They're making an ass of themselves. And destroyed an entire family doing it. It's unfair. It was not fair. It was unjust. And it's like someone wants to make amends with you about it. If you've had a falling out with your family or you've had a falling out somehow, it's like someone needs to make some kind of a amends with you. Take care now.